All right, now I want to talk broadcast ethics. I'm in the oldest form of, of national broadcasting. You're in the second oldest, but the giant new form is podcasting. And the king of podcasting is Joe Rogan with 190 million downloads a month. Yeah. Joe Rogan talked to Dan Crenshaw yesterday. I'm going to play it for you. And he crossed the line that you and I wouldn't cross. And this is kind of a backdoor way of getting to talk about it. But I want to play it for you and have you comment. Cut number 17, Joe Rogan talking with Dan Crenshaw about I'd Joe also Biden. I'd also vote for Whoopi Goldberg over Joe Biden. I'd, I'd vote for Mike Tyson over Joe Biden. I just don't think it's a good idea to take someone who's struggling with dementia and put him in one of the most stressful positions the world has ever known. That's what I'm saying. I mean, it's, it's not yeah. an endorsement of Trump. It is, it is a, me saying you shouldn't have of a man who's clearly, clearly in the throes of dementia. I mean, there's, I'm not a doctor, but when you can't form sentences in public and you forget what you're talking about and you, you're, you wander yeah. off into these conversations, if you're not smoking pot, you're, you're not high, if you're not on pills, like what's going on? Well, there's cognitive decline. He's a, an older man that has mental issues. And, you know, not to be cruel to him, he, he's, he's suffering medically. This is a, is a real issue. And the Democrats want to sweep that under the rug. And Trump is already chewing him apart. He's already dismissing him. I mean, there is a recent thing that Kyle Kalinske posted, a video uh, on his Twitter, talking about this is what happens when you don't discuss the elephant in the room. And it's yeah. Trump saying, he used to do it, doing a press conference, and they asked him a question about something that Biden wrote. He goes, Biden didn't write that. He's like, he's, he's, that's a Democratic operative. He didn't read it. He, he probably doesn't even know what's going on right now. Chuck Todd, this is also what happens when media standards shatter. I'm not a doctor. You're not a doctor. Joe Rogan's not a doctor. This is a conversation going on everywhere, but not on the air. He's got 190 million downloads. What do you make of that? This is what I, I think that the first debate is going to be uh, very important um, because there is this perception of Joe Biden that that the right has created the caricature that they've created. Look, this issue was in some ways, de- you know, Democratic primary voters. It was dealt with. It's that, you know, it wasn't as if it wasn't dealt with uh, and, and they overcame it and he overcame it. So I, I will say I I can pl- I'm completely convinced that this strategy of trying to make this uh, an issue that somehow, first of all, that doesn't touch Donald Trump. I mean, the problem with Joe Rogan's commentary there is that until he said the name Biden, there's plenty of people that would say what he said applies to Donald Trump, too. He veers off. He wanders off. He can't stay on message. He seems to say things that don't make a lot of sense. Uh, you know, that's Donald Trump sometimes at a press conference, right? Now, he does it with more energy, so it looks more energetic. But there are times that you could ha- say the same thing about the 74-year-old Donald Trump, who, by the way, has a family history of dementia um, that can possibly kick in around this time. I I do think that the mental fitness of 70 plus year old candidates ought to be something that, you know, you know, if we had the, you know, in the old days when the 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 New York Times health reporter forever that used to be the sort of the do the roto rooter of presidential candidate. uh, Medical. I can't remember his name now. Uh, I want to say it was maybe it's been Robert Payer. But anyway. Um, it, it, I do think that I wish we had that, but I'll tell you this. I think that this expectation game that's been played for the first debate about Joe Biden is going to be uh, a regret that the right has at some point. Good blow up in their hands. Absolutely. Show up. All he has to do is show up and speak complete sentences. I mean, look at how, you know why his convention speech played well, played over so well because of how low the bar was. Yep. And I, I think that you're absolutely right now. I, 